Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I just changed the dressing on my foot and it seems to be doing so much better. I hope y'all are doing good. And I just noticed that my bangs is very much in my face. Um, I have already uh, done my face makeup. I'm just going to be doing my eye makeup today so that I can do my sweet husband behind the camera. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do my eye makeup today to show you a makeup tutorial on a palette that will end up being the end of summer, early fall giveaway. So how are y'all doing? Is everybody doing okay? I feel like I'm having a good hair day. What do y'all think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are my, my earrings for my husband. They are Swarovski. 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 I don't know how to say it, but they're very good crystals. And they're in pink gold because he got me this pink gold ring with the Love on chocolate diamonds and white diamonds. I always ignore that because the big ones is the, the chocolate, which I never thought I'd like, but I really do. They're actually more sparkly than some of my white diamonds, but anyway. And it was to match this rose gold and sterling silver bangle. Why am I telling you all about my jewelry when I'm supposed to be doing a makeup tutorial? Okay. There we go. The makeup palette for which I am discussing today. Wait, we didn't have long enough to drink our coffee. I know. He thinks if he whispers you're not hearing him. I gotta go see my dad soon. So, um, I've got three things to show you. First of all, this wonderful palette. I am loving it, loving it, loving it when I see it on other people on YouTube. I can't wait to try it. I know that I'm going to love it. I just know that I'm going to love it. Why is that hair in my face? Um, and it is the Japanese Velvet Touch Eye Shadow Palette. And it's ri richly pigmented matte shades. They're all matte shades. And that's what I like about it. Um, as you get older, it's kind of hard to wear shiny stuff. Now, y'all know I still wear shiny, but I usually wear it on my lid, and usually the center of my lid mostly, and sometimes I'll wear the more finely milled shiny stuff in the inner corner. But I've gotten to where even on my brow, I will usually use a matte highlight. Sometimes I still use a, a um, satin, satin or glitter or strobe level, but for the most part, um, these are the shades, um, that, I'm sorry, you can't see the powder very well. There's the shades, they're numbered. Now let's just open it so you can see them in person. I waited to even open this, y'all. So excited. I know I'm going to love it. Watch me open it and go, ugh, these are terrible. That's what it looks like, just matte black. This seems to be the thing. It's very professional looking, for one thing, if you were a professional makeup artist and you went to a photo shoot and you were or an event and you were in charge. This does look very professional to sit here and, and literally they fold it back and they work like a artist palette because they're artists. They're actual artists. Okay, so here is, there is no mirror. That's fine. I prefer a mirror, but one this long, maybe not. But here is the actual palette. Do they have names? They have no names. But what you basically have here is warm neutrals and some cool neutrals. You've basically got a highlight, one highlight. Um, you can always, if you don't want to highlight, you can always leave off the color under your brow and use the next lighter color underneath to fill in between what I would, what I always call a transition color. And you can put that there, and then it makes the the area under your brow look highlighted. So that's one way of looking at it. And this is divided into uh, like mauves. Here's a mauve and a dark plum, and this is um, kind of some greens right through here. This is definitely a khaki green. This is a a, a gold, like almost like an antique gold, and it has a under green to me. A brown. Now, this brown is the only um, thing in the palette that I feel like. No, it's just a dark brown, dark chocolate brown. So you have a, and, and then over here, of course, you have a neutral, like, I don't know what you would call, like a caramel. So you've got a caramel, a taupey khaki color, a kind of medium brown, and a dark brown. So, I mean, I feel like this is a must have palette. I want to see if it's all it's cracked up to be. Um, I think it's going to. I feel really good about it. I'm going to be using my new Sigma brushes today. 
Um, uh, the verdict's still out on Sig Magic brush shampoo because I haven't cleaned dirty brushes. I only clean, clean brushes. Now I've got a thing full of dirty brushes that I'm going to clean with it and just see how it does. How it does. But I bet sort of like It Cosmetics, which is my absolute favorite brush cleaner. Um, I'll bet you, since brushes is a lot more of what they do even than makeup, that they got a, probably one of the best brush cleansers. Okay, the other two things that I bought, which I have not bought in years from MAC, that I can think of. I'm trying to think of what the product would have been. But anyway, I brought, bought two blushes. Um, this was on the advice or recommendation, I should say. Not personal advice, but from watching her. Um, Dominique. I never know how to say her last name. It looks kind of like Sanchez, Sanchesa, Sanchez. I don't know. Dominique, look her up. Dominique S, A N, and you'll find her. She's gorgeous. She's also an or over forty um, beauty, and to me, she is like I, I love her videos. I highly recommend her to y'all. I will try to remember to um, put a link to her YouTube channel in the bottom. She doesn't need my link. She has like ha almost half a million subscribers in such a short period of time. Now it doesn't hurt that she's also a news anchor. So her living is to look beautiful at the optimum level because she is on a news camera. So she knows heavy makeup. She knows natural makeup. She knows hair. She knows, um, when I say makeup, I mean every aspect of it. Um, at a, I mean, she's not a professional, but she is a professional because she does her own and she's had to learn what works on camera. I think she says she does her own. They don't have a makeup artist that does it. Same thing with her clothing choices. I, she's always stunning. And she does um, clothing choices. I don't do that because I don't have the figure for it, to be honest with you guys. She does. I mean, she looks like a model. Her jewelry choices, I should say her husband. She said they collaborated on her engagement ring, but it's stunning. Um, and I just love her jewelry selections. They're always classic, but really modern and cool. Um, I know classic and modern doesn't fit, but they're classy, I should say. Uh, but anyway, she recommended this first one. That is Melba. I remember when she was trying to figure out what it was. She's like, this is a blush that I've used. And it like, had very little amount left. And um, she asked people what it was. And I guess maybe one of her uh, subscribers told her, that's Melba from MAC. And she checked it. And sure enough, it was Melba from MAC. Because it didn't show anymore on the back. But this says Melba. I'm noticing first off that MAC has gone way down in their size because the last time I bought a MAC blush it was as big as the uh, powder compact and that's what I used to use Studio Fix powder um, was great powder it's a good high coverage MAC is high coverage because a professional makeup artist um, so they they usually don't do the natural look but anyway here's the color let me take the front off it doesn't have a mirror because you see straight through it to see the color and it's basically a rosy orange or what would you call that melba's like melba toast it's got a to me it has enough rose undertone that i can wear it and i would call it um not orange like a rust but it's rosy rust so it's like uh it's not peachy because peachy has a hint of red to it or it's supposed to now peachy just anything that's like melon color they call peach but uh, or a light peach you could say this is maybe a light burnt peach but i really do like it and i will uh, i'm not sure which one i'm going to try today so i also got this other one called gingerly but i'm not i was going to use this i've actually already done i still might just for fun we won't get a, a pure version of what these are i got gingerly more to use for contouring it's a blush it's not a contour but um, but you can always use uh, more brown tone or dark rose uh, or burnt tones. I always say whatever the color is, burnt. It just kind of darkens it, crispies it. Um, this is gingerly sheer tone. So I'm wondering if this is going to be a really good, um, like Dallas by Benefit, uh, color that you can use in the contour area, you know, your fish face look. Um, why do people say fish face? Because you go like that. I think of it more as a birdie. Sweet. Or kid's face. Anyway, so, um, I don't know. I may try this. I may try them. I've got brushes. Let's just do it. Why am I talking about it? Let's just do it. Okay, so I'm going to use a Morphe. This is actually a contour brush, I believe. Morphe Y1. And I'm going to use um, Gingerly. So let's see. How does it do? 
it has it's a little more rosy than the um, than Melba, which is more my style. I want to try Melba because she recommended it, and there are times where I do rust tones where I need a more warm um, blush. So there's the difference in the next to each other. This is gingerly. This is Melba. So now let's use a blush brush, and this is a Morphe Y4. Why? Because I didn't bring my, my Sigma face brushes in here, only the new eye brush set. So I'm just going to tap that in there and tap it off. Smile. And go up a little. I don't know if this is going to go with my look, because this is definitely more of a orangey tone. And I would say this would be great for summer. I always put a little bit down the center of my nose. I know other people put it on either side. I do not find that to work, personally. And then, of course, on the temples. Because even through my hair, through my bangs, I feel like you can see that. And then just blending downward. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it wears today. It's MAC. I'm sure it'll wear great. It's MAC. Okay, so to my brushes, this is my Sigma um, case that I already had. And here is my new Sigma brushes. This is only eye brushes in here. No face brushes. And let's just get to the tutorial. It'll probably be more than one part. Like part one and part two. So let's just get to it. And I think what I want to use today, just because I'm wearing such a white color, is maybe these two colors. Um, with this on the, I'm going to use this right here. I don't know why I'm preferring that. And then I'm going to use that for my brow. It's like a taupey brown, dark. So we'll see how it works. So first of all, I'm going to use a, uh, should be an E55. There it is. A, which is a shader, just a uh, shader brush. And I'm going to put my highlight on with that. And that is this color right here that does not, they don't have names, I'll tell you. What's the fallout? 